Hi guys! I posted this picture on Instagram and got tons of comments about my hair so I wanted to come and show you how I achieved this look using some products that were sent to me from Design Essentials which is black owned. So I started off on wash day. This is my freshly shampooed and conditioned hair and onto my damp hair I applied this almond and avocado detangling leave-in conditioner. It's a really runny sort of consistency. Um, I didn't find that it gave me a lot of slip, but it did soften my hair on contact, so I guess that's why it's considered a detangler. So I went ahead and used this to moisturize my damp hair, detangling and completing my entire head. So after I finished moisturizing and detangling, I applied some raw shea butter to seal that in, misted with a light heat protectant, and moved on to the next step, which was my blow dry. So here's my blow dried hair, which I blow dried it on medium heat, on high setting, and it ended up feeling a little dry after the blow dry. So I added the daily moisturizing lotion from Design Essentials just to put back some of the moisture that I had lost. Now I didn't put too much because I didn't want my hair to shrink back up. Of course I wanted to take advantage of the stretch style. So I just put very little and worked that into my hair, mainly focusing on the ends. Next is the styling product, which is the Defining Cream Gel. This is a really jiggly, pudding-like consistency, and I love this stuff. It actually provides a really good hold, but it's also moisturizing, which is pretty rare. I didn't find that it dried out my hair, so I actually really like this product. I think that this might be one of my favorites in the line. And I applied that to sections of my hair and used it to flat twist. Got to the ends I added a little bit more product and then used some sponge rollers to rod the ends. I got these sponge rollers from my local dollar store. You can use perm rods or flexi rods or anything that you happen to have handy. This is just what I had on hand. So the key I find to the volume and the movement of this style, other than doing it on stretched hair, is the direction that you do your flat twists in. So this is how it looked when I was finally done. As you can see, I sort of followed like a star pattern, starting from the middle of my head and branching out. So I used a satin scarf and tied it up overnight and then just took it down the next day. put a little bit of coconut oil on my fingers before I started taking them down and I was actually in a rush I was on my way out so I wasn't as gentle as I should have been so if you guys try to duplicate this style I would definitely recommend taking your time just to try to minimize as much of the frizz as possible So once all the twists were unraveled, I used an afro pick just to lift the roots a little bit. And then I moved on to the Honey and Shea Edge Tamer. This is their edge control product and it is definitely the best edge control I've tried so far. I've tried about three or four and this tops them all. So I used very little and then just used a brush to smooth it up. And that's it, my look was complete.
Cause my hair is too fly Bring me down Said can nothing Bring me down Cause I'm happy Clap along if you wear